Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to add fractions that have different denominators, and therefore we must find the lowest common denominator. In this first case here, you'll notice that all the denominators are prime numbers. Therefore, to find the lowest common denominator, we have to multiply the denominators together, which means for the first two here, the lowest common denominator will be 5 times 11, which is 55. Which means we must multiply the first fraction with the, by the denominator of the second fraction, and the second fraction with the denominator of the first fraction. And this is what that's going to look like. So we have 1 over 5. We're now going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the second fraction. We add that to the second fraction. And again, here we must multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the other fraction, 5 over 5. Notice when I multiply times 11 over 11 or times 5 over 5, that's the same as multiplying times 1 and nothing really changes. Also notice that now both denominators are the same. 5 times 11 is 55, 11 times 5 is 55. So this becomes as follows. This is equal to 1 times 11, which is 11, divided by 55, plus 15 divided by oop, 55. There we go. Now, since the denominators are the same, we can simply add the numerators. This becomes 26 divided by 55. All right, on our second, uh, second exercise here, we can see again that the denominators are prime numbers, which means that the common denominator, or the lowest common denominator, is simply the, the product of the two denominators. And again, we're going to take the first fraction and multiply it times the denominator of the second fraction. And again, that will be both the numerator and the denominator will be multiplied times 13. And on the second fraction, 4 divided by 13, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the second fraction, which in this case is 7. Now notice both denominators are equal to one another. 7 times 13 is 91. That means that the two fractions now can be written as 26 over 91 plus 28 over 91. When we add these together, we get 54 over 91. On the third exercise, we now have three fractions, but the methodology is very similar. Again, the lowest common denominator is simply the product of all three denominators. So here we can see that the lowest common denominator is equal to 3 times 7 times 11, which is equal to 21 times 11, which is 231. How do we find the lowest common denominator in, the, in each case? Well, what we need to do is take each of the three fractions and multiply both the numerator and the denominator, and I'll show you in just a moment by what. So here's the three fractions, but here on the first fraction, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the product of the two other denominators. So here's our first denominator, here's number two and number three. When we multiply these together, so this would be seven times 11, or 77 and 77. Here on the second fraction, we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator with the product of the other two denominators, which is 3 times 11, which is 33. And finally, the third fraction, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the product of the two other denominators, 3 times 7, which is 21, multiply this times 21, and this times 21. Now the three fractions become as follows, with the same common denominator. This is equal to 77 over 231 plus 66 over 231 plus, that would be 63 over 231. And now that they all have the same denominator, we can simply add the numerators together. 77 plus 63, that's, that would be 80, that's 140, plus 66 is 206, divided by 231. So that's how you would add fractions together when the denominators are prime numbers. That's a pretty clever technique and easy to implement. That's how it's done.